Good morning, St. George's. What a joy it is to come to you again this week for another video update. This week, I want to share with you a couple of things, interior and exterior here on the church campus. Inside, we are beginning to do some updates. We're going to be moving the sound system out of the chancel area to the rear of the nave so that we can expand our technology opportunities that we have so that we can clean up some areas here on the chancel but also so that we can make room for a new piano. We've been gifted a grand piano at no cost to the church whatsoever. And so this piano will help us to expand our musical opportunities. Um, it'll help us grow into our musical capabilities that we have. And so we are looking forward to seeing some interior updates um, in the coming weeks and months. There are gonna be a few other things inside the church that you're gonna to begin to see um, as we begin to uh, just focus some on our facilities, but then also outside our church facility on the grounds, you're going to begin to see some things as well. We're getting the building cleaned. We're um, beginning to look at fixing the parking lot. And speaking of the parking lot, we've been made aware of some needs that we have to add some additional handicap spaces for Sundays. So what we're doing is the three spots between um, the bell tower and the CE building right here against the side of the nave for Sundays will become handicapped parking. So that gives us a total of six spaces directly against the nave and the church building itself. Um, it allows for access through the door into the nave or you come through the foyer, but it's given us a greater opportunity to help minister to the needs of our people. And so it's something we want to do. So you're going to see some handicap signs out. Um, on Sundays that kind of help us direct, making sure that we're getting people into the building safely as we can. Um, as we continue to worship, as we continue to um, just see God do some great things, I'm very excited looking back on June and looking at the numbers. We had an, a, just a wonderful amount of worship opportunities, great, great number of people attending these services. We've had over 30 first time guests that came throughout the month and, and one of our variety of services, we, we seen just God bless us, not just with the numbers, but financially he blessed us this month, but spiritually giving us the opportunity as a church family to grow together, to worship together. And that's what it's all about for us. And so as a parish community, as we are serving and loving, as we are caring for others, it is so exciting to see what God is doing in our midst. This coming week, we got a couple of things. On the 10th, we'll be doing both the blood drive down in the CE building um, throughout the day. I want to encourage you, if you can give to help our greater community, please do invite others to come and be a part of that um, as we try to help our greater community with the blood needs. But then also at that evening at 7 p.m., we're going to be offering a today service here in the nave. Ward and our musical team are going to put that together, have been working hard and planning and getting ready for us to offer that um, to our community and to our parish community. So, again, invite others to come be a part of it. You do not have to be a regular attender of St. George's or even the Episcopal Church to come and be a part of that wonderful service. I want to encourage everyone always to invite others to come be a part of our church body, come worship with us and celebrate a risen savior. So this week, as you go throughout your week, as you're wrapping up the 4th of July festivities, I want you to know that I'm praying for you and I hope you're praying for me